Peace, power, and protection. Welcome to Clara, audience, truth speaker. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. We're going to start doing some daily uh, energy check-ins just to see what's coming and going out, going on with my beloved Scorpios. It's almost like I'm starting my channel all over again, getting myself back into the algorithms because of those periods of time where I've been away. It's like I've kind of fallen out of the algorithm flow, so I'm just kind of scratching my way back up into the algorithms just so new folks can uh, discover the readings and also some of my beloved um, A1 Day Ones can uh, get reintroduced um, to the channel. So I will each and every one of you a bliss. I will all is wonderful in your world that you're healthy, mind, body, and soul. Um, without further ado, we're going to dive right in. We're not going to take up too much time. I am focusing my energy more so on doing shorter readings now, just so that I could build back up my, um, you know, my viewership. So we're going to do it that way. So to anyone that may be new, welcome to the channel. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath. I'm Claire Audion, and I'm also uh, an intuitive reader. So during my readings, I do play music and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on this clock, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all blends very beautifully. Uh, if I do say so myself, uh, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, let it go, let it flow, let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Uh, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has found you, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloved. So let's go ahead, uh, proceed with the read. But before we do, let's do some house cleaning. House J. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So we currently have, what time is it on the Kliz Ock? It is currently 425 on the clock. So that breaks down to 11. So 425. I said that breaks down to 11. Wait, hold on. Yeah, six and five is 11. I'm tripping. So six and five is 11. So that 11 is definitely telling me that there is some sort of uh, justice. Things are going to be balanced out. Perhaps there is some sort of truth that's going to come to surface, come to light. Um, I do feel like things are going to be handled fairly and justly for you if you are uh, going through a certain circumstance and you're waiting for some sort of outcome. I feel things will balance out for you. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense if you all are going to perhaps court, if you're having some sort of court proceedings or some sort of legal matters, I feel like things are going to work out in your favor. Um, with that justice, I definitely feel like there can be, um, even, you know, with that 11 that breaks down to two. So there could be, uh, even if this is in relation to like a marriage, I'm hearing a marriage proposal. I'm hearing perhaps coming into alignment with someone that is like your, 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 uh, divine counterpart. Uh, cause I'm getting like the two of cups, maybe someone that is going to give to you equally. Uh, that could also speak, you know, to contracts. Maybe you're coming into a business partnership, uh, Maybe some of you all are um, looking to get like a business loan or something like that. I feel something is absolutely working out in your favor. Uh, let's see what we have playing on the playlist, beloveds. I wasn't ready, so let me get myself ready. All right, so what we have playing, beloveds, is we have, um, this is Sir, and this is called The Evils. So the evils is devils. So definitely I'm hearing new levels, new devils. So just be mindful. Um, you know, don't let anyone have you confused or conflicted because the two could also have you, you know, I'm getting like the two of swords where you're stuck in two minds. So just be mindful to trust your own intuition. Four, four, four on the clock right now. I do feel like if you pray and call on your angels and your guides, they will absolutely show up for you. So if you are dealing with some confusion, if you are unsure about things, definitely take that time, meditate, get it straight so that you can take the right 
um, or the appropriate action. Um, but definitely take time to, to get, uh, you know, to, to come to a conclusion opposed to feeling rushed to do things. Um, with this devil, there definitely could be, um, you know, some manipulation going on. There could be someone plotting and planning and scheming and scamming. So just be mindful of that. You could be dealing with someone that has some ulterior motives. So be mindful of that as well. But that also could speak to, um, you know, certain addictions that you may have, whether that be drinking addictions, drugs, drug addictions, maybe you're overthinking, thinking too much could be, um, also a hindrance for you. Um, anything, doing anything too much, uh, could become bad. So you have to do everything in moderation, including thinking. So if you are up in your head a lot, uh, you know, go outside, take a nature walk, breathe some of that fresh air, breathe in some of that prana, get around the trees, get around a body of water, and it will reset, recharge, recalibrate your, you know, your spirit, your energy, your batteries. And it'll, you know, make for you to, um, you know, make a better decision moving forward. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the reading. I like to start off with the numerology deck, see what we got on the bottom of the deck. So we do have 27 here. It says spiritual partnership. So that 11 is one half of 1111. And that 1111 is associated with like twin flame, soulmate, cosmic companion. Uh, so you could be having uh, someone very special, very in, um, very much uh intertwine like spiritually uh that's coming toward you um nine is telling me that there is a uh, element of like wish fulfillment maybe some of you all have been praying and calling and asking for this and perhaps that is uh you know that is what's um coming toward you is exactly what you've prayed for so maybe an answer to your prayer maybe some sort of wish fulfillment um, I'm definitely getting a sense of someone that you have a lot of synergy, chemistry, familiarity, similarity, and there goes the two. So a lot of you have been very patiently waiting for this. Um, again, if this is not in relation to love ships, this could be just business partnerships. This could be building alliances, um, cultivating a very strong uh, connections with individuals that you will go into business with. With this too, that patience is telling me that uh, spirit has been working behind the scenes to bring this into fruition. Um, this 27 and this two is 11, and we just saw that. So I do feel like you're getting your just due. I was also picking up with that 11, the number two of cups, because uh, that 11 breaks down the two. Even though the 11 is a master number, I always break it, I break everything down. So I am getting a sense of like, if you are waiting for love or if you have been waiting waiting for some sort of spiritual partnership or a special connection bond. I feel like it is coming and it's coming in due time because I do feel like there is a matter of, um, you know, things having to be worked out before this can come into your life or before this turning point can take place. Perhaps there's this cleaning up of cycles. Perhaps there is this sense of, you know, closing out chapters or closing out uh, some cycles. And, you know, in the precipice of this new start, you will be, you know, introduced to someone. Um, as I said, I do feel like this is justice. This is your getting, you're getting your just due. Um, we have Nas, no bad energy. So I do feel like there is that element of like clearing out a cycle that could have uh, included a karmic you know there could have been karmic cycles that you were learning from growing from and now that you're you know kind of clearing that out now there is this energy, um, this new surge of energy that could come in. And I feel whomever or whatever this is, this is someone very special because the two of cups is someone that you could give to equally. This is someone that speaks your love language. This is someone that's emotionally on your level. Um, this is also someone that's patient, kind, thoughtful, considerate. This is someone that is uh, your divine counterpart. And I do feel like this is like, even with the spiritual partnership, that there is a strong like chemistry or synergy energy uh, between you and whomever this person is. Um, perhaps there are um, a lot of thoughts, you know, maybe you've you've literally uh, drew up a, 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 your own little manifestation list of what you were looking for, or what you were uh, desiring. And I feel like it's manifesting. I feel like you're definitely getting something, uh, as I said, because I just feel like you're getting your just due. I feel like justice is, um, you know, working things out in your favor. My mama Ot has everyone's address. And I feel like the seeds you've sowed in the past are absolutely blossoming and blooming. 
blooming and uh, flourishing for you. So let's tap in. Let's see what's coming in for my beloved Scorpio spirit. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? I do feel like you are very protective of your energy. You're not dealing with a lot of negativity, uh, especially with that devil, with that devil that we saw, um, you know, that we heard earlier, the devil. Uh, I feel like you have cut certain people, places and things off as well. We have synchronicity here. So you may be having a lot of signs, synchronicities. Maybe you're seeing a lot of 888 seven 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 six 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 maybe you're also seeing eleven eleven uh four 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 two 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 um whatever the case may be uh pay attention to those signs and synchronicities i do feel like there is some communication that is being conveyed to you whether it's telepathically intuitively or whether this is even in your dreams that six that this 87 breaks down to 15 that six uh the 15 does deal with the devil as well that's the uh devil card in traditional tarot and so i do feel like you know this is a reminder to trust your intuition Intuition. This is a reminder to not sway um, against your own better judgment or your inner gumption. Uh, trust what you feel in your spirit, in your gut. Your gut, your stomach acts as the first brain or the second brain, however you want to, um, you know, view it. But I feel like spirit is telling you don't go against that. Trust what you feel. You know, use discernment. Um, there could be signs, synchronicities, divine interventions that your angels and your guides are leaving you, um, and this is in relation to someone from the past or something from the past that is approaching. So you could have someone that you are familiar with that could be approaching you, coming back into your life because I'm getting like the six of cups, but I'm also seeing like the lovers, the six, the lovers. And that union is overseen by an angel, an angelic um, presence. So, you know, I feel like you will know um, intuitively uh, whether or not something is meant for you or whether someone is meant for you. 11, 11 on the clock. So this is in relation to love. Love. Um, as I said, that lovers, uh, it could be like someone from a past life, um, or it could just feel that way when you bump into this person. If this is someone you've never met, I feel like when you meet this person, it will feel like you've met this person before. We got seven personal growth here on the bottom of the deck. So six and seven, uh, this 87 breaks down to 15, which is six. So that's six and the seven is 13. So there's definitely been major changes, transformations, a lot of growth, growing pains, um, and emerging someone completely different, having a completely different perspective on life. Um, and I do feel like this is perhaps someone that is now acknowledging, um, your, your growth or acknowledging you, uh, for who you are. So let's tap in. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on beloved. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. We have Tony, 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 slow wine. Someone's name could be Tony. Someone could be from California with slow wine. I feel like spirit is saying, take it nice and slow. You know, definitely don't rush. Like I said, trust your intuition, trust your discernment, use discernment in all matters especially those concern in the heart. We have rebirth here, 16. This came out in the former reading that I did. So with this six and the seven here, this is 13 yet again. So there is a major transformation. This is some sort of startling metamorphosis. This is almost like someone is wanting to rekindle or reconcile a situation. And with slow wine, I feel like it's been a slow and steady process, but someone has absolutely changed. And I'm hearing they've changed for the better. On the bottom of the deck, we have 91 Surrender. This also showed up in the reading, the former reading. So I do feel like, you know, whomever this is, Spirit is saying that it's safe. Um, I'm getting a sense of like it's safe, but take things slow. With this seven here, uh, that deals with your crown chakra. That's also associated with the chariot. So the chariot is really about, you know, um, that's Cancerian energy, but that's also about balance. So it's about m remaining in harmony, remaining in balance. Even the six, the lovers is about balance because you have both the male and the female, um, represented on that card. So it represents, you know, not only using logic, but also your emotions. So being, you know, harmonized, maybe you're meeting someone who will, you know, bring that sense of harmony, that sense of balance. This is someone that is absolutely going to assert themselves. I feel like they're taking their time because they want to get it right. And they're trusting their intuition. This is someone that has been growing because in this deck, the, um, I believe it's, 
uh, I just showed you the seven, the seven was personal growth. So there is someone who has been growing, maturing, you know, someone who's really been working on themselves. And I feel like with this uh, surrender, perhaps there was a sense of someone kind of fighting, fighting it, you know, um, resisting, you know, someone resisting. And now there's no longer uh, this ability to resist how they feel. I feel like it's been a slow and steady build and someone is finally going to uh, take some sort of action because with the six and the seven, that breaks down to 13. So there's been some change. There's some, something has died. Someone's former belief systems, ideologies, behaviors, habits. Someone has completely gone through some sort of death, um, you know, a death of an old uh, concept, you know, a death of an old way of being or existing or behaving. It's like there's, you know, transformation here. Someone's changed. Someone's transformed. Someone's seen something different. That four that this breaks down to, this 13 breaks down to four, is giving me, you know, emperor, you know, so a divine masculine. Or this is an energy of someone who's uh, now taking their power back, now ready to take action, now ready to go after what they want. That's very interesting. So with this 91 surrender, I do feel like someone is finally going to surrender. They're going to be open. They're going to be more receptive. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. How does this person or how does this person or thing, Scorpios are attracting to them, feel about them? And we have happy ending here, 93. So there's definitely someone that feels like you are their peace. You are the home, the hearth. You bring a lot of joy. This is definitely like a new beginning also. So every ending denotes a new beginning, but this also shows like someone has had some sort of grand epiphany about you. This connection, this 12 shows that they've literally been, you know, observing you for quite some time from a distance and they now see your worth. They see your value. This is someone that could have taken you for granted. If this is someone from your past that you're familiar with, this is now someone that sees you as an empress, a divine feminine or if you're a masculine, a divine masculine, but they see that you have absolutely matured, grown, that you are in your power, that you're beautiful, that you're attractive, that you're wise, that you're spiritually aligned, mind, body, and soul, that you've tapped into that God frequency. They see you as someone who is very intentional. You're an alchemist. You tap into your alchemical force. You're very creative. Um, perhaps you're very artistic. Maybe you have a business. You've started a business. They see you as someone that is an authoritarian now, like you've taken charge. You're more grounded balance and in alignment this is someone that definitely can see that happily ever after or see you know um you know building and cultivating a family or nurturing um you know this connection more you know with this 57 they've been learning from you you have been like a guide you've been a teacher you've been someone that they've even looked up to you know someone that they've learned from tremendously because it's 57 that's 12 and this is also 12 so that 12 deals with the hangman. So this is someone who has been forced in this position. I feel like this is someone who had to be humbled, you know, and perhaps spirit humbled them. That's why they're going through this transformation. That's why it's like they want to rekindle or reconcile because now they see you in your light. They see you as who you've always been. They just weren't able to see you um, for who you were. So they could have taken you for granted. We have Rick James Glow. So now they see you glowing, they see you growing, they see you just beautiful, blossoming, blooming. They see things really, you know, taking off in your life. You seem to be very happy, you know, very content. You seem to be, you know, really um, grounded. I just get a sense of groundedness, like you're very grounded. You're very down to earth or earthy. You're very, um, you know, just practical, like resourceful. It's like you've you've been able to rebuild you know, contrary to what may have occurred in the past, it didn't destroy you. It's like you, you've you rebuilt on a more solid foundation. It's like they see you as more solid. This is beautiful because it's like they've learned a thing or two from you. With teaching and learning, you've been the student and the teacher at the same time. And it's like now you've reached that level of self-mastery. You've reached that level of having that deeper, more profound understanding of who you are and of how to navigate the world. What's hidden in the energy is we have 10 completion. So, yep, someone's wrapping up a cycle. It's almost like you've taught someone um, to get rid of what no longer serves you, to cut off the people, places, and things. We have 88 abundance on the bottom of the deck. So absolutely wish fulfillments on both sides. You know, someone also uh, realizing they want to assert themselves, come towards you, perhaps express something. 
Uh, this is coming in quickly, but this is someone who's also finding that emotional and spiritual equilibrium also. With this 48 financial discipline, someone could also be, you know, getting their, their coins together. Um, perhaps someone is definitely uh, walking away from a job or walking into um, a new lucrative opportunity. It's like getting rid of something that's not working and then find, you know, finally finding the right um, people to collaborate with. You know, I get a sense of like, you know, a, a dark period is over and now there is something that's like blossoming. Maybe someone is kind of like just, you know, uh, master in their craft, sharpen in their sword. We have this five change. So there will be communication that comes in because some, something has changed. Something has clicked within another person. And with this glow, I do feel like it's because someone is now seeing you as, um, someone who is just very beautiful, very attractive, someone that they really desire to, uh, approach someone that they desire, uh, to be with even to, 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 as I said, you know, build that partnership, that, col that collaboration of energy. You know, this is someone that can see themselves like cultivating something real, something tangible with you, you know, um, someone that wants to be supportive as well. This could be someone you work with, someone you know from work, someone you've met from work, someone you may have lived around for a while, someone you could have grew up with, someone you could have gone to school with. There's definitely a conversation I feel is going to change the, traje the trajectory of this connection, this relationship, this friendship perhaps. But someone is ending some tough cycle, as I said, and they're putting all their energy into perhaps uh, their career or their business. It's like they're re they're, they're channeling that energy um, in a positive light, in a positive way. Interesting. So I do feel wish fulfillments, blessings. I feel something's rushing in. This is coming in abruptly. Someone could be from um, Buffalo, New York. Someone's name could be Rick or James. <clears throat> what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Okay, nothing fell. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we got 14. So there's definitely a change. Moderation represents changes. And I feel like it's because someone has had a change of heart. Someone has definitely been taking the necessary time to heal. There's another, look at all this green. It's a lot of green here on the bottom of the deck. And that green deals with the heart chakra. So someone's had a change of heart for real, for real. You know, someone has definitely been working very hard to heal, to grow, to nurture themselves. And they've persevered through some really difficult times. I feel like someone has really taken the time to heal, really taken the time to, you know, uh, heal at a soul level, you know. And the outcome is 88 abundance. So there is absolutely a wish fulfillment. This is like a miracle. This is a blessing. This is like if you've been sending up prayers, petitions, if you've been remaining hopeful and optimistic about a certain outcome, it's like spirit is saying it's absolutely rushing in. This eight and eight, that's a dual number. Whenever I see that, I always feel you're attracting someone that's made in your likeness. So not only does someone see you as very strong and resilient, um, clearly someone who has persevered through a lot of difficulties, but has also healed. And because of that, you deserve to be rewarded. They see you now as a wish fulfillment. Not only will this person see you as a wish fulfillment, but I feel this person will also be that of for you because there's a lot of healing that has taken place on both parts. There's been changes. There's been transformations. There's been efforts uh, put forth to, you know, to emerge someone completely different, to reinvent yourself, um, you know, to even grow, to heal, you know, taking onus and accountability, you know, is, is how, you know, one can heal. And I, f I see that on both parts, on both sides, you know, so let's tap in beloveds. Let's see. We're going to pull some messages from psychic to row and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we have. Bottom of the deck, you got material harvest. What did I say about receiving rewards, recognitions? This is definitely coming in, especially after completions of cycles. You will get rewarded. You will be recognized by spirit for your efforts. This is definitely blessings. This is definitely answers to your prayers. Monetarily, you're going to be just fine. 
Um, we have I'm wishing on a star. So like I said, whatever prayers, petitions, daily affirmations you've been sending up, they will be answered. And they're going to be answered where you will receive tangible gifts, blessings, opportunities. Some of you could be stuck, you know, trapped in fear. This eight is always like the eight of swords for me. So this is literally what I was saying earlier about being up in your head, thinking too much, overanalyzing. That could definitely um, you know, lead to anxiety, stress, um, you know, and that's the devil's playground. So you don't never want to be up in your head. Perhaps you're up in your head about a, a wish fulfillment, about a blessing, about an answer to a prayer that you've sent up and spirit is saying, you know, good things take time to create. That's why we saw that patience earlier. Uh, nothing ever happens in our time. It happens in divine time. So that's why it's very important whilst you wait to remain busy, to remain, you know, that go getter, to continue to go after what you want. I see new beginnings here. And tr trust and follow your gumption, your gut instinct. That is your solar plexus. So when things don't feel right, especially in terms of some new opportunity, this is like the fool. So it's like if you take a leap of faith, make sure it sits right, feels right in your spirit. This also shows, you know, with that sun that shines within, it's like, you know, you've mustered up that strength and that courage uh, to finally take that leap, to finally, um, you know, display that sense of boldness, you know, and it's like whatever you've been asking for and praying for is absolutely yours and you're absolutely deserving of it. You got to know your worth, you know, it is your birthright to live in opulence you know, so this world is infinite. You have an infinite, you know, infinite possibilities out here. So never limit yourself by speaking in that spirit of lack. So divine spirit, I do feel spirit is communicating with you. So you need to really open up your first eye to see, you know, even pay attention to your dreams. Keep a dream journal. You know, it's very difficult to recall or recollect your dreams after you've been up for a certain amount of time. That's why it's important to keep like a dream journal just so you could jot down those one or two, you know, key, uh, you know, um, points that you could recall, you know, before you really fully wake up. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let's cut this deck. See what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. Oh, and I see a card in here that belongs to a different deck. Phil, this is a bonus message. Look at that. Happy family. So for many of you, this four is the vibration of 1111. So we are definitely seeing that there is some sort of special union bond connection uh, that you will be in. This is going to bring a lot of happiness, joy. You're going to feel like you are... Um, you know, in a very harmonized spiritual connection with someone. This is someone I feel like your angels and your guides are aligning you with. That four is also the vibration of the heart chakra. So there's a lot of love here. There's love, there's family, there's support, there's collaborations. There's, this is someone that you will uh, be willing to compromise with. This is someone that you will build that legacy, generational wealth, business. This is beautiful. So that was like a bonus message. That card doesn't even belong in this deck. That's crazy. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection, bottom of the deck will be, will clarify the overall energy of 87. So see that? What did I say about being trapped in your head? That number two, remember we saw that too early and I was saying you cannot be stuck in two minds. This 87, that 15 deals with the devil. So this is where the devil likes to play up in your head. So some of you are doubting, some of you are questioning, some of you are anxious, stressing, overthinking, ruminating, pining, and you have to get out of your head because this causes mental conflict, stress, and anxiety. So whatever it is that you're constantly thinking about, repeatedly thinking about, spirit is telling you it's time to get up out of your head because this six and this two is eight. This breaks down to the eight of swords, which is what I saw earlier. So this six and this two, that breaks down to the eight of swords. I feel like spirit is telling you it's time for you to be strong. That eight deals with karma. So some of you could be dealing with a karmic that likes to play a lot of mind games, that likes to keep you stuck in a perpetual state of confusion, that likes to have you stuck in two minds. And you have to use your intuition because the six deals with your first eye. So you need to use your first eye to see. So don't allow anyone to play or toy with your emotions. This could be someone that you've had a family with. This could be someone that you have, um, you know, maybe a divine masculine, um, an emperor. This could be an ex-husband, ex-wife, whomever this is. This is someone that you could have had, you know, um, 
had that domestic relationship with and they know how to push your buttons whomever this is is someone that is very familiar with how to push your buttons or how to to get a rise or how to stress you out and spirit is telling you that you need to be very much in your own um power don't allow anyone to take you down this rabbit hole because i'm telling you once you get stuck up here in your mind it's like it's very easy for you know you to get you know lost in translation um we have uh the book of david this is dave east it's called call the promoters so call the promoters uh with the book of um david that is a biblical um that is you know in the bible basic instructions before leaving earth so spirit could be telling you to get out of your head and perhaps pray um read a couple of scriptures you know you could read psalms 91 you could read psalms 59 um you know anything that is going to um you know ward off evil or banish evil or protect you from evil eyes like definitely uh start reading from the scripture some of you could be dealing with someone from da named david someone could be from harlem new york uh on the bottom of the deck we got recognition and reward so what did i say about you all being recognized by spirit so what we have here is 16 rebirth so this is what you're attracting to you it says uh recognition and reward and you're being recognized why well because you've been through you know that that major transformation um, and you've emerged someone completely different. So whomever this is um, that I'm speaking to, it's like spirit has acknowledged uh, your work and your efforts. Spirit has acknowledged how much you've been, you've been through. That's why it's important not to get stuck here because it's almost like whomever uh, is playing these mind games is kind of trying to throw you off um, your game, trying to have you uh, worrying when there's no reason to worry. Worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. So when you have blessings coming, rewards, recognition uh, coming, um, you're doing yourself a disservice when you're stuck here worrying about things and you don't even really see what spirit has to offer. So this is beautiful. So why is the 16 rebirth here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Why is the 16 rebirth here? For who or what my beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. I get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Thank you. Look at that. The devil temptation. So this is someone trying to tempt you. This is someone. Remember that 15 we saw, that 87 that breaks down to 15. And I was saying that was the devil. And then look where he has you up in your head. And that's because the devil is a trickster. The devil is a liar. He speaks with a forked tongue. And he's trying to tempt you off your path because he knows that, you know, this rebirth is going to garner that that reward, that recognition from spirit. But if it could tempt you and have you stressing and overthinking and worrying, then it can literally block your blessings. So you have to be mindful because you do have a devil around you that's trying to throw you or sway you off your path. So you got to be very, very mindful. Um, this is someone that is trying to convince you to have like, it's like they, you know, a cycle will be repeated until it's learned and you have this karmic completion here. So I am feeling like whoever this person is that eight, remember I was getting from this here, the 87, six and the two, the eight, I was getting the eight of swords, but I also said karma. So this is that karmic that could potentially be trying to return to, um, kind of throw you off, you know, throw you off and throw you out of equilibrium, out of harmony. Uh, so you have to be very mindful because this temptation is showing that they are pulling all the stops with this firm foundation. This is how they see you. You know, you are very firm, solid, strong. As I said, you have rebuilt. You know, you've been through a lot of difficulties. Mountains always denote, you know, a lot of uphill battles that you've had to overcome and you've persevered. But this this right here shows, you know, especially with this firm foundation that shows where you um, your strength lies, you know, you've had to kind of like find your own sense of independence, if you will, your own sense of stability. Um, and that's what's led, you know, to you being so happy is your independence is that, you know, um, foundation for your stability, your security and your overall happiness. So whomever or whatever you're attracting to you uh, is definitely someone um, that sees just how strong willed you are. Um, and they see you having a happy ending and they can be a little jealous, a little envious. This is definitely a deceptive person, very manipulative. So be mindful of that. And what we have playing right here 
is we have Toby um, Ode to Fat, and he's from Texas. <clears throat> so let's tap in. Someone could be from Texas. So uh, let me see. Find Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. And that, you know, I'm getting gluttonous from the word fat. You know, gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. So, you know, that is associated with the devil. The devil is, you know, very gluttonous. This is this could be someone that, you know, expects to have, um, you know, they just expect more. They think they deserve more. You know, this is someone very self-absorbed. And look what you got. Moving on. So you are moving on, coming out of a dark period and back into the light. You see things clearly. He's holding a timepiece. So I do feel this does have a lot to do with, um, you know, divine timing. And look at that patience yet again. So spirit is telling you, be patient with yourself. Good things take time to create. I also feel like you could see here that something that you have been, you know, manifesting is slowly blossoming. You know, this is about temptation uh, or temperance, excuse me. Um, but good things take time to create. Spirit wants you to focus on what you're doing. Focus on your creativity. Focus on your happiness, your peace. And don't allow yourself to get distracted or to get tempted by this devil. When you're focused on your own path, you cannot, um, you won't get, you know, distracted or duped or bamboozled by the devil. The devil is trying everything to distract you and to have you like up in your head, to have you questioning and worrying. Um, but you do have to walk in faith. That's what spirit is reminding you because there's absolutely a positive and happy outcome. You know, that's, that's definitely awaiting you. And with this moving on, there goes the 10 of uh, you know, karmic completion. So you're moving on and coming out of a very dark period. As you could see, this is a very gloom, gloomy gray card. So it shows that there was a lot of disappointments, a lot of frustration, aggravation, and just even a lot of, you know, frenemies, enemies around you, people that were secretly plotting people that were in secret competitions, but it's like, you're moving on from that, that period. And you've grown wiser, you know, you've grown a lot wiser in this process. So let's tap in. Why is 10 karmic completions for 48 financial discipline five change here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios and we have think here so spirit definitely wants you to use your intuition with think it says um, Lynn Collins someone could be from Lynn Massachusetts someone name could be Lynn or Collins <clears throat> thank you spirit <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have third eye. What did I say? Use your first eye to see. You got to use your intuition. This third eye is your first eye. That's how I see the first eye. And I was also getting that even with this, the 87 synchronicity, trusting that in, inner gumption. And what you have is prosperity begins. So trusting your intuition and trusting that whatever you're working on will pay off. Because that's what this devil is trying to distract you from. It's trying to distract you from, you know, honing your skills, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, building your skill set. It's trying to distract you from that. And it's trying to distract you from that because it's trying to block your blessings. But when you stay focused and you don't allow yourself to get distracted and you just focus on what you're doing, then you have this prosperity that is, it begins to blossom. This is like the ace of pentacles. You know, this one prosperity begins is showing like spirit is absolutely going to answer your prayers, going to bring about a positive change for you. Um, there's going to be some good news coming in. There's going to be that, that time where you will, you know, see a more expansion and success coming into your life. This is beautiful. And remember you had abundance. So this is like a plethora. You're going to have an abundance abundance of financial blessings, abundance of love, you know, abundance of success. And it's all if you trust what you see, what you feel in your, oh, excuse me, in your feel, in your spirit, you know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. So why is this 88 abundance here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Bottom of the deck, we got that trapped in fear. There goes the eight. So this fear, that's a trap. This is entrapment right here. This is like being imprisoned in the mind. The mind could be, again, a prison, you know, only if you allow it. This could be self-imposed as well. So you cannot allow yourself to get stuck here. I just saw 3838. That's 1111. And we got power. So spirit wants you to take your power back. This is like the strength card. When you stay in your power, when you lean in your strength, this is what's going to 
um, garner success. You got 888, and this is definitely um, speaking to some sort of luck, wish fulfillment, blessings, opportunities. We had an 888 portal in August, and I definitely feel like whatever you were manifesting, whatever you were calling in, whatever rituals, whatever intentions you were setting, whatever magical spells you were doing, I feel like your blessings are going to come through. But I also see here that you have really... Um, emerged as someone very powerful spiritually emotionally mentally it's like you are half man half amazing and this is something that your angels and your guides absolutely see and that is why they are telling you to not be here you know this is another eight so you got eight 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 and then eight on the bottom of the deck so you have to know who you are you got to stand in your power and more importantly you cannot give in to temptation because that's what this is trying to do trying to get you to fall into the trap of worry fall into the trap of overthinking ruminating and pining and spirit is saying you know know who you are um we have on the bottom of the deck with this passion ignited so this is about remaining true to your passions and 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 following you know, whatever that calling, that inner calling is, because it will lead you to success. So this is about being true to yourself. And you can see another eight positive movements forward. So walking away from those people, places and things that no longer serve you, circumstances that no longer serve you. You got Mary J. Blige. Someone could be from Yonkers. Someone's name could be Mary J. or Blige, first, middle or last. But someone is definitely going to confess or express that they love you. We did see that 11-11 when I was speaking earlier. A couple of times we saw it. And remember, happy family blew out. So I do feel some of you all, this is going to be your outcome, is you're going to absolutely come into a very sacred connection, bond, um, even if this is a business partnership that emerges or grows into a love partnership. Definitely, I see success here. I definitely see you taking your power back. And I just want to, again, remind you, do not fall into the traps that this devil is trying to set for you. Remember, we started off the reading with um, de-evils, devils. So you do have some very negative low vibrational energy that's preoccupied with you, uh, jealous and envious of you. So just be mindful of that, Ashe. But this is your reading, Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, peace.